Hello, this is Kasim Kulov. Welcome to 14th episode of my Logo Modernism series. Today's episode is a little different. The logo that I am about to draw was not chosen by me. It's been requested several times by some of my subscribers. It's 1978 City of Congress Hall logo. I will not use fill and I will align stroke to center. Draw a circle of any size. Draw a line with a height slightly taller than the height of the circle so that it's more convenient for us to work with the shape builder tool. With line still selected, go to Effect Transform, divide circle into 48 equal parts, which will result in an angle of 7.5 degrees. Set 23 copies. Go to Object and expand appearance. Let's make the stripes using Shape Builder tool. Now the white stripe should be in the middle of the circle, which means we need to rotate the circle by half of 7.5 degrees. For convenience, reset the bounding box. Now we don't really need the right part of the circle. We also don't need upper and bottom four stripes. As you can notice, it says there are mixed objects here. To get rid of stray points, let's cut out our stripes, delete the stray points and bring back our stripes using Command F. Let's remove the fill for now. Draw a hexagon and rotate it 30 degrees. Reset its bounding box using Shape Builder tool. Let's give it some consistent width. I will use upper stripe as a reference. Let's divide hexagon into four equal stripes. Use Shape Builder tool to finalize it. Snap the edge to the center of the stripe group. Let me give it a black fill and a white stroke. As you can see, the circular stripes are not connecting with the hexagonal stripes. To fix it, we need to adjust it manually. For that, we will be using scissors tool. Drag the edges with direct selection tool. Build the shapes. Copy the left part and make new shapes like this. Let me give it a black fill and a white stroke. Copy the group, rotate it 120 degrees and snap it accordingly. Copy the group again and rotate it 240 degrees. Rotate the second shape 60 degrees and snap it accordingly. Make a copy and rotate it 180 degrees. Make another copy and rotate it 300 degrees. To finalize the shape, let's remove the fill, outline the stroke and release the shape. And there you have it. So this was it. Thanks for watching. For more interesting tutorials, do not forget to subscribe.